Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, week's Forex and Gold Analysis. I usually do this on Sunday evening to look for a good trade setup. I do it almost weekly. Occasionally I will miss a week. But I hope that you are receiving this uh, because you have subscribed to the YouTube channel and if you uh, just found it because you're searching on Google or YouTube or something, be sure and subscribe to the to my channel. At the end of this video there will be a, a subscription button and you can click on that little bell and be sure that you get notifications after I have made these videos. And also if you would like to receive uh, free Forex signals, I have a signal group on Telegram and Line. So just let me know by Telegram. My ID is uh, at RickRayFX and I will add you to the free signal group. Okay, so let's have a look at the charts and see what's coming up. I'm not going to look at the forexfactory.com. There is no high impact news for Monday or Tuesday of this upcoming week, but be sure and check forexfactory.com for any news that might be coming later in the week as sometimes the high impact news items will have an, an, uh, an influence on the direction of commodities and currencies. So it's always a good idea to be aware of the high impact news items that are being released during the week. But there is nothing on Monday or Tuesday. And special holiday in the U.S. It's President's Day tomorrow, Monday the 15th of February 2021. And that means the U.S. stock markets will be closed. It means that uh, almost all of the U.S. Forex traders will not be trading. It means that the volume will be very low. So it's a good time to just relax and and stay away from the charts actually because the volume will be low, the liquidity will be low and I don't expect to see much movement. Of course the, mar the Forex markets are open 24 hours a day, five days a week and that will be the case even though it's President's holiday in the U.S. Uh, the Asian Pacific markets might have some movement as well as the London markets, but it will be very quiet during the U.S. market forex trading times. So let's have a look and see what's going on with gold, first of all. All right, well gold is trading in a couple of different ranges. We see that it's traded between 1831 and 1851. And then on Thursday it dropped down and broke below 1831, our support level. And then on Friday, drop down, hit the next support level of 1810. And that's very significant. That's a strong support level, 1810. You see it before the market closed, it bounced back up. And it's going back up to 1831. So it's likely to continue back to at least 1831, where it will find resistance, all right, and then might continue to drop down back to 1810 or possibly lower to our next support level, which is 1785. So you're asking, do I buy or sell? Well, gold is bearish. All right, look for an opportunity to sell. If you try to buy gold, it's a counter trend trade. Gold does pull back. All currencies and commodities will pull back. But a counter trend trade is much riskier than trading with the trend. Remember, the trend is your friend. So for gold being bearish, look for an opportunity to sell and the bears are definitely in control of gold at the moment and trading in a range right now between 1810 and 1831 so to watch and see if it comes up to 1831 and if you see resistance there and it can't seem to be going any higher that would be a good place to short and then expect it to fall back down at least to 1810 okay let's look at the euro us and here I'm not going to give a signal. The Euro US has been uh, quite bullish for several days. This is the four hour chart we're looking at. And uh, now it just turned neutral. So no signal for the Euro US. We could be starting to see a change in direction with the major currency pairs. The US dollar has reached a, a very strong support level and we should start to see some slight recovery with the US dollar which would uh, put pressure on the major, current, uh, you, uh, the major currency pairs. If you look at the odd US, same thing, okay. Watch for a change in direction. The odd US has reached extreme high prices, it's been very, very bullish. But now it's neutral on the four hour chart. 
So we could be starting to see a change in direction. All right, so no signal on the odd US. And same with the New Zealand US, okay, reaching extreme highs. The New Zealand US, I've been waiting to try and get a signal on this for a week. It's just been up and down, up and down, trading in a very tight range. But these are high prices that we're seeing on both the odd US and the New Zealand US, so we need to be watching for a change in direction. We do have a signal for the USD CAD, okay? Uh, as I said a little bit earlier, I expect to see uh, some recovery with the US dollar, so I have a buy limit on the USD CAD. This is at very, very low prices where it is now, but it will probably, probably drop down a little bit farther, down to about 1.2670 in that range. When it does, that's a very, very strong support level, a good place to go long on the USD CAD. And then the odd New Zealand, we have a good signal on this one, okay, a buy limit. There seems to be no stopping the odd New Zealand. It's definitely bullish, all right? The only thing you need to do is just wait for a pullback to get a better price, all right? I put the entry price at 1.0733, just a little bit below where it closed on Friday. And this should continue to move up. It has a long way up that it can go. You see where it is now, it can still go up quite a bit higher. And then the last one, my favorite currency pair, of course, the pound New Zealand, all right? And this, this is still bullish, all right? Still bullish on the pound New Zealand, but because it moves more than any other currency pair, it does make big retracements. It does pull back a lot, all right? So, but it keeps making higher highs and higher lows. So this is going to continue its bullish move, all right? It's not taking big giant steps, but if you can get in at a good price, and that's where I put a buy limit here, is at 1.9142. Let it pull back a little bit, get a better price, and then uh, that should continue its bullish run uh, for at least another two or three weeks. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate you watching these videos. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And just at my profile picture there, there's a subscribe button. And be sure and click the little bell so you'll get notification when I make these videos. Any comments or questions, just leave them uh, on YouTube. And I do reply to all comments and questions. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've had a great weekend and a good, uh, happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you have a good week of trading. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.